Stop what you're doing. Don't buy that test sieve yet. No, 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 wait, wait, stop, stop. I'll explain everything. Just stick around and I'll tell you everything you need to know about brass and stainless steel test sieves and why one might be a little better than the other. Hi, my name's Andrew Kotlar and I'm here to tell you the differences between brass sieves and stainless steel sieves. So WS Tyler has been a prominent manufacturer of particle size analysis equipment for over 150 years and we strive to help customers know everything they need to know to make the best choices in their filtration endeavors. So, to make that happen, we'll go over the brass alloys often used to make test sieves, the stainless steel alloys often used to make test sieves, the pros and cons of using brass test sieves, the pros and cons of using stainless steel test sieves, and the cost of both brass and stainless steel test sieves. Brass refers to the range of copper-zinc alloys. The many combinations of copper and zinc give brass materials different mechanical and corrosion properties. So the test sieves in the marketplace have either an 80-20 alloy combination or phosphor bronze. Brass frames in the market can be either red, brass, or yellow. The mesh in stainless steel test sieves are from the 300 series, most commonly 304 and 316. Meshes in sizes US 8 through US 500 are all 316 stainless steel, with the other mesh sizes being woven in 304 grade. Stainless steel frames are also from the same 300 series, but the most common in the field are 304, 305, and 316 stainless steel. So the biggest pro of brass mesh is that it's anti-sparking. So, obviously the most essential part of test sieves is the consistency of the mesh opening, right? Okay, so since brass material is softer, brass mesh will deteriorate more quickly than stainless steel. If you want consistent results, you're gonna have to replace them a little bit more often. Brass by nature is a softer alloy, which means it's prone to denting easily. And as the brass is exposed to humidity, the sieve will start to discolor. The discoloration doesn't really affect your results, but it doesn't look the best, you know? So the biggest cons of stainless steel are... Uh, stainless steel test sieves are much more durable than brass. And stainless steel mesh is more corrosion resistant and stands up better to abrasive materials. Also, stainless steel is preferred in pharmaceutical and food applications. And industrial companies producing sand or diamond dust will also benefit from stainless steel sieves because of their durability and strength. Our brass frame test sieves, whether they contain brass or stainless steel mesh, cost relatively the same amount to purchase. For example, an 8-inch all-brass 100 test sieve with a brass frame and stainless steel mesh 100 cost about $73. The 8-inch 100 with a stainless steel frame and stainless steel mesh costs about $86. So, brass test sieves were the most widely available type in the beginning days of sieving, over 100 years ago. Many companies still order brass test sieves because they are just what they've always had in their labs. But with the expansion of availability of steel and the material becoming more affordable over the years, companies are finding it very beneficial to make the switch to the stainless steel varieties to gain the benefit of the longer lifespan. But if you need something that's spark resistant, brass is gonna be what you have to go with. So is it brass or stainless steel that wins out in the end? We'll let you make that decision for yourself. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, fill out a contact us form so we can answer your specific questions. Just click the link in the description. And if you'd like to learn more about Woven Wire Mesh or our many products, we have a learning center filled with written and video content to make you an expert. Just click the second link and you'll be that expert in no time. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and ring that bell to keep up with all things WS Tyler. Once again, my name is Andrew Kotlar and I'll see you around in the next video. Bye for now.